What's up everybody, Mega Buzz Buzz here, buzzing at you today with another episode of The Buzz. Today we are doing a double feature, the Pink Powerhouses, Clefairy and Clefable. We're going to do the whole line except Clefa because I don't like to do baby Pokemon. I, I, I'm not that good yet. <laughs> but uh, when it comes to, let's, let's go look at Clefable first. I'm going to be a little biased when it comes to Clefable because I actually have a build set up. We're going to go over to that later, but let's start with Clefable. And we're not going to get too far into items because Leftovers tends to be the... Uh, tends to be the standard. Let's go check that out. Rocky Helmet. Oh, never mind. Alright, so I'm a liar. Uh, we have Rocky Helmet, Leftover, Citrus Berry, Chesto. Chesto. That means some people are running rest. Uh, Key. I don't see a Moringa Berry here, but Moringa could definitely help. Uh, so either Rocky Helmet or Leftovers. I, you know, Rocky Helmet is some, is really good because definitely a lot of Clefables run follow me. If you saw that really quick, I think that's a 74%. Yep. And going into Clefairy, that is a solid 99%. What's this held item? If it's not Eviolite, it is Eviolite Everstone. Okay. All right. Cool. So Global Link is weird, but <laughs> so obvious. The obvious item for Clefairy is Eviolite, so we're not going to go into that. But uh, Clefable seems to have some versatility when it comes to items. Leftovers, Rocky Helmet. Now, if you run Rocky Helmet, you definitely need this lovely move, Moonlight, which restores your HP. It is a recover. It restores your HP by 55, not 55, 50 percent, 66 percent in sun, and I think 25 percent in rain, sand, or whatever, what have you. Um, Moonlight's such a good move. This it's 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 a really powerful recovery move. Definitely really great on a Sun team. I would 100% recommend it. Follow me is the standard when it comes to Clefa uh, Clefables Moonblast, so you're not taunt bait. And maybe something like a rope. Can I spell? I can't spell, guys. So let's see aromatherapy. There we go. Look at that. So aromatherapy is really good for it. Um, here's all the status conditions on your team. We have also if you feel like it, cosmic power to uh, to raise your uh, defenses by one if you want to if you feel like the setup game call mine for special defense and special attack if you want that moonblast to have a little more umph to it um but that's that's i mean that's a lot Clef clefable has a lot encore if you feel like it maybe fire blast <laughs> okay uh let's go look at the other things heal pulse fake tears uh, metronome if you're feeling like the play in the luck game wish is definitely a good one i would recommend wish um Let's see, Heal Bell if you don't want to run Aromatherapy because you think Aromatherapy is terrible because uh, they do the same thing. Helping Hand, if you want to go that route, Helping Hand boosted anything is really powerful. Uh, let's see, Magic Coat, I don't think you're fast enough to do anything. No, you're not fast enough to do anything about that. Uh, let's see, Icy Wind for Speed Control, Snatch if you feel like your opponent's going to be set up games. Uh, play some setup game. Let's see, Double Team if you want to go that route. I'm, I'm going to look at you with a bad face. Minimize, I know there's, I saw that up there in the top ten. When it came to Clefable, let's see, I think it was his number three move. There it is, like there. 48.9% of Clefables run Minimize. Minimize, follow me. <sighs> minimize strats. I mm, I mean, honestly, with Clefable, I'd recommend it. It's pretty great. I mean, Clefable's pretty bulky as is. Um, so if you don't want to be like that, definitely don't run it. And maybe run Protect up in this fourth slot. Nothing, uh, no better feeling than somebody trying to predict your follow me and just doubling up into your follow me here and just hitting a wall. Uh, Clefairy, you could also, you could minimize this one. This would be the Pokemon I would suggest you minimize. I think it can learn it. Can it learn it? Minimize. Yep, sure can. Look at that. Minimize. This would be the Pokemon I would recommend minimizing, uh, if you feel like going that route. But, um... Ability-wise, either Magic Guard or Friend Guard will do. I didn't go over abilities with Clefable. We have Unaware. Unaware is super good. Uh, you can make that Clefairy pretty unaware about everything. It it ignores stat changes when taking or doing damage. See, now the doing damage part is kind of kind of a double-edged sword, because if your opponent has minus stats, Unaware doesn't ma or Unaware kind of just cancels them out at that point. Um, but the plus stats are definitely really good, especially when you're dealing with Mega Kangs. Everybody doesn't want to deal with Mega Kangs. Now, Clefiglin, the Clefairy Magic Guard... Uh, really good if you want to do follow me strats. Friend Guard is also super good. That 25% reduction in uh, attacks onto your partner just blocks a lot of Okos. Blocks a lot, a lot of Okos. Um, not getting too much into Clefairy since it can be run in the same way as Clefable except with an EVO light. We're going to go into Death Bear, the Clefable. I told you it was going to be biased. <laughs> uh, how he runs it here, he runs it leftovers. Leftovers for good reason. Uh, just that casual recovery per every turn. He runs it unaware and you see Cosmic Power. So he's going to set up in your face Cosmic Power, so he's already ignoring your stat bo bonuses, but you can't ignore his. So those plus six defenses are pretty devastating. Stored Power goes up to uh, base 140 on a good day if he gets all of that set up. Thunder Wave just to piss off his opponents. Moonlight for the cure, 
And, God, this is Death Bear. This is the Clefable that has given me the most trouble in all of my time of playing Pokemon. And I have it. <laughs> Look at this well, this spread, guys. It's a fairly complicated spread. A 252, uh, 148, 4, 104. The two fours were the wasted EVs that just didn't have a place. Uh, putting up special attack and speed by a point for speed creeps and just a slight bit more damage. Uh, how he wanted this set up is like he had a 252 in HP, he wanted to max out his HP, but then we have a bold nature you see here, and he wants to make the stats even so the cosmic power raises them at an equal rate, which is, you know, really good. Your your defense stats are really even, and so you can survive generally the same amount of stuff at the same rate, um, if that makes any sense. Now, these EVs could be, sp you know, spun around if you decided to run a, I forget the, I think it's Calm? Is it Calm? It is Calm. If you decided to run a Calm Nature instead... Um, but just try to keep these even. I think that's 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 what he went for. You can tweak this around if you want, but this is a sample spread that could definitely be tweaked. But I like it. This thing gave me a lot of trouble. This is a beautiful Clefable set. I like it a lot. Uh, the only downside to it is that there's no follow me, no redirection. If you don't want to go that route, definitely don't use this. Use like this set would be pretty good for you. I don't know about EVs if you want. I mean, you could just 252, 252 it if you want to. Definitely try not to do that. Try to go a little more complicated. Um, get get some of this physical bulk. You need physical bulk, especially with that base 73 uh, defense stat. We saw a similar kind of HP defense stat when it came to Milotic, and that can live a whole, a whole lot, but when it comes to Milotic, it has the benefit of being a bulky water. I'm sorry for the page switches there. Um, it has the benefit of being a bulky water. Clefable's fairy typing is kind of dangerous. A lot of people don't like Sylveon, so a lot of people run really physical steel types or just really powerful special attacking steel types. Steel types are just really powerful in the VGC metagame, so you need that bulk. Uh, there's no such thing as a bulky fairy. It's going to go down eventually, and it's just not going to be a good time if this Clefable goes down. That's your only redirection. Um, definitely would suggest moves like Thunder Wave or Icy Wind, though. Speed, uh, speed control is always a good thing to have in VGC. But there's a lot of things you could run with this Clefable. Definitely give it a look. Give it a some, uh, give it some love. Um, as always, these videos are just like no, in no sense like this is what you should run on a Clefable or you're bad. Uh, no, these are always work in progresses. These are always up to the player themselves. But definitely give these uh, two Pokemon some love. Give them some looks, and I really hope to see you guys at some tournaments uh, with these two Pokemon in hand. I will be in Virginia Beach. Uh, or I would have been in Virginia Beats at the time of the release of this video. Um, I'm recording it before Virginia Beats and releasing it after. I was in Virginia Beach on the 17th. Um, I will be in Raleigh on uh, October 24th, High Point on the 25th, and Cornelius, North Carolina on November 1st. All of those three locations are in North Carolina. So if you're in the North Carolina, Virginia, or South Carolina area, or if you feel like t making a really long drive, uh, definitely come to these premier challenges. Definitely come say hi. Uh, I don't know what I'll be wearing. Probably a Team Magma hoodie. I don't know. Just If you see a guy in like, blonde hair with a Team Magma hoodie, just come up and be like, hey, are you Mega Buzz Buzz? And I'll be like, yeah, definitely. But uh, <laughs> thanks, guys, for... Uh, Thanks, guys, for coming to hang out. I don't know what's on the next. I think it's Scizor up next. But uh, this is the pink puffball. This is the Clefairy and Clefable. The pink puffballs of power. Power pink puffballs of P... Uh, just a P, P sentence. Just think uh, a sentence of just P words. Anyway, thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for um, giving me your time. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to give us a subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Keep on buzzing, folks.